Brand new in Excel, you can now translate from one language to another one if text is inside a cell. I'm going to show you how to do this. My name is David Benaman. I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So at the time of making this video, this is only available for the beta channel, but it is coming soon for all users of Microsoft 365. For anyone that wants access to this kind of feature early, you can do a similar kind of thing in Google Sheets and another video that talks about that. By the way, if you just want to get access to this file, then there is a link in the description for how you can download this file. All right, let's get started. So if you write equals translate, if you see what you want in blue, then you press tab to lock that in. So I have here text, source language, and target language. So the text is going to be this. The source language is going to be this one. And the target language is going to be this one. So I close my brackets, and this will translate it from French to, this is Chinese, this is the Hebrew to Khmer, Cambodian language, Dutch, and English. By the way, if you don't want this to happen, you have this, and you can choose fill without formatting, then you will keep the line at the bottom of the list. Now, if I do equals translate again, you have square brackets around source language and target language. Square brackets in a function means they are optional in this kind of tooltip like this. Now, if I click on this one, and if I leave the next one blank, then it will actually detect the language that it's in. And then if I go to this one and close brackets, it will translate it from the existing language into that. And if I drag it down, it will do that. By the way, watch out for the right aligned text, for example, Arabic or Hebrew, because that will have different rules to how it will overflow into your cells. So that still works the same way. Well, what about if I leave the other one blank? So if I do equals translate and I just do the text and then I do comma blank, comma blank, or if I just close my brackets immediately, then it will translate everything into the system language on my computer, which in my case is English, but in your case might be another one. Note that it doesn't get it exactly right this, the original time. It went from check out this file to view this document, view this file, etc. So it won't be exactly identical, but it works well enough for you to understand what is going on. When you are using translate, then if you have something there, if you press the source language, it will give you this list of which language you can choose from. And there's lots and lots of languages here, which is great. What I wish would happen is I could start typing. For now, you just have to scroll down the list, look for the two-letter code, and then select it when you have it. So let's do uh, Indonesian from detect language and close my brackets and it will transfer it like that. Great. Now it will work with a whole host of paragraphs. I have used this quite a bit during my work in Google Sheets before the Excel one was released. So this is from French, so I could do equals translate this one Source language, usually leave that blank is fine, and then target language. Also, I can leave that blank because I want this in English, but let's uh, translate it to something else like Catalan. There we go. And it's now going to translate all of those things, and I can just drag it down like it was a regular Excel function, which is really, really useful. Note that I might want to do my fill without formatting, to keep my original borders, perfect. And over here, you can also do it with certain blocks. Note that you might wanna do dollar signs to make sure that that translates correctly. So to rewrite this formula, so I'm going to do equals translate, and I'm gonna select that one, and my source language is blank because it's going to detect it. My target language is going to be this one. So if I close my brackets there, it works when I drag across, but if I, were to drag down, then it will give me gibberish. So I want to put a dollar sign in front of three so that it locks row number three and it's always going on FR when I drag it down, etc. So if I do that and I select these cells and go control R, R to fill right, and I then go down here, control D, D to fill down, that will fill it down perfectly. Again, note the right alignment in certain instances. Perfect. 
Sometimes I will put an if error around it to uh, just replace something with nothing if there isn't something there. Otherwise, it will give you this kind of value error. So an if error will kind of block it in a nicer way. And if you are going to do this, it is good to make a list of the actual codes and then do this as a drop down list from there. The other new function that came with it is detect language. So way less interesting, but equal detect language, you just have text and you can click on that, close your brackets, and it will guess what the language is in those two letter codes. This website that I'll send a link to in the description has all of the accepted languages and their codes in case that's useful. And I also have that in the document should you wish to translate that. I've also put the language code in this workbook that you can download from the description. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. My name is David Nime. Thanks for watching.